Hello, this is Lauren, and I'm back with another Dillinks video. In this video, as you can see, I've got dice. So let's roll the dice. I'm going to continue this. I'm probably just going to continue until I make it to round, until I complete round one. After round one, well, I think that I can just gradually work my way through getting all the other rewards. So, let's see what happens. You say, your faith in synchros is misplaced. That's, they're what makes mankind wicked. Yes, a summoning method makes mankind wicked. We definitely don't do that to ourselves, no do we? You're wrong. Like any great power, they could cause great harm if misused. Yeah, that's true as well. And there will always be people that misuse anything. But if championed by the righteous, they can create good. And I'll prove it by showing you. Clear mind. Let the spirit of all doom monsters spread its wings. And soar to new heights. Excel Synchro. And apparently Jacob is just sitting there also with his mind blown. Rise, Shooting Star Dragon. Go, Shooting Star Dragon, Stardust Mirage. Arg. There's nothing wrong with synchro summoning, so the destiny you speak of isn't for certain. Not only is it still certain, your actions have helped usher it along. And because they have, I'm now forced to take drastic measures. Aporia. Anguish, hopelessness, and pain merge into one. At long last, this battle can be... At long last, this battle can now be fought with all of our powers. In one spiffy package. Guys, they're transforming. This is terrifying. Although, terrifying? Oh, please, Aporia is no threat to me. He is still no threat to me. I don't care about all those times he kicked my ass. He still is no threat. Whoa, you see that? A team New World all combined and formed this guy. I am Aporia, the embodiment of despair. We three are now one. This is my true form. As I hoped, you destroyed my Mech Lord Emperors. So now, the circuit is nearly complete. I now special summon the almighty Mech Lord Astro I don't even want to pronounce that. Witness the power of my card. You know, the card that you cannot pronounce. <laughs> oh, please. You still aren't a threat to me. If you truly think you're going to do anything. Well, I'm sorry, you're just not. You're not a raid boss here. So I'm going to destroy you. In the absolute most brutal way possible. Let's begin. You will not win. I will be the one to win. I will be the one to defeat you. 
And now it is my turn. All right, let's go. Let's do it. I will now begin to destroy him. Yes, that's right. He is doomed. Very doomed. I mean, seriously, do you think he has any hope? Aporia has no hope. Th that's kind of what the point of his character is. He's the embodiment of despair, so he has no hope. But that doesn't matter. Because he's still going down. I see. You think you can defeat me? Too late for that. Oh yes, too late for that. I'm going to take you down in the best way I know how. Trust me, you're going to go down and you're going to go, you're going to be wrecked so hard. You're not even going to, you're not even going to be able to think let alone utter a single word. <laughs> All right, you've been defeated. What next? Yeah, what next? What do you have to say to me? I'm not threatened by you in the slightest. That card. I see the fear in your eyes, and you're right to be afraid. I'm not afraid. You say maybe, but you know what? He'll overcome this. You will taste the same despair that I have. A despair so powerful, it was given life. <laughs> oh, wow. A despair so powerful it now was it's now has life you think i'm afraid of the embodiment of despair please i've i i've been at despair and you know what it's really not a permanent state if you are truly the embodiment of despair then you'll die if you will ever feel anything else any form of hope will destroy you that is if you are the true embodiment of despair i'll tell you why i split myself into the three emperors of iliaster jacob wester and primo is is there anyone here anybody Ah, ah. This was me at my lowest. When I thought I was the only survivor in the whole world. But that's when they arrived. We are the only remaining humans in this world. We invite you to join us to make things right. They were devoted to restoring the world, to how it was before the second zero reverse. Day and night, the four of us labored for a way to take back all the unpleasantness. But exhausted by the long days and nights, the members of our consortium began to fall ill. Oh, they fell ill. That's not good. Aporia. Z1, I want you to add to your ranks by creating three others out of me. There are three instances that shaped who I am. The day I was separated from my parents. The day the woman that I loved was taken from me. And the day that I lost the world that I once knew. Take these three instances and give them corporal life. Make them flesh. Do this, my friend, for me. 
and for all of mankind. I shall, and through these three new agents, you shall live on. Lester, Primo, and Jacob were different versions of me from different instances in my life. Their sole purpose was to gather all of us to where we find ourselves now. To the point where I can wipe Neo Domino City off the map. And you say it looks a bit shocked there. At least based on what I saw before, you know. I skip things. Yeah, I kind of do that a lot. Okay, question mark. I received two dice. Two extra dice. With Crow unable to complete. Oh, wait, hold on. With Crow unable to complete? Oh, uh, yeah, that actually is the word that's there. But I do know what is meant in this context. With Crow unable to compete, Akiza replaces him against Team Unicorn. Duel fans, it's time for the Tournament of Titans! The World Racing Grand Prix! Our grand design shall come to pass, so long as Jacob was correct in his calculations. Not since the Fortune Cup has there been such a buzz in the air. These duel three these duelists will be looking to prove their prowess in the preliminaries. Starting with these three. Starting with these three from Team Unicorn, I give you Rio, Andra, and Jean. Their adversaries are Yusei Fudo, Jack Atlas, and Akiza Izinski. Their team 5Ds, two teams with the will to win this whole tournament, are tangling in the very first match. Alright, Duel fans, it's the moment you've been waiting for. The first two competitors are Ender and Jack Atlas. Well, you say... I guess this is it. Yeah, time to see if all of our training has paid off. Received two dice. Okay, I rolled the dice again. more black keys. I, I always like those. Okay. The people of Neo Dominus the people of New Domino won't suffer the same fate as their city. They will live. But once they get to know the dimension they've been banished to, they may wish they hadn't. You must be joking. I have seen what is in store for all of us. And I will not stand by and forsake the future. If I'm to stop the Divine Temple, I better act fast. I will win this duel and destroy New Domino City. And from its ashes will arise a grand new future. Destruction never leads to anything grand, Aporia. 
I don't know about that. I mean, destruction can can create something good. Uh, I mean, from personal experience. Although generally, in a generally when it comes to villains, the the destruction never creates anything good. In the hands of a villain, all destruction brings is destruction, and that's it. You have your opinion, and I have mine. So let's just settle this with our cards. Alright. Let's go, then. Power born from misery and anger. Let's begin. I hope... Uh, okay. Aporia is now going to duel me again. I will let you go first. Okay. Um, I have voices turned off, so I have no idea who said that. Okay, yeah, Aporia said that to me. Alright. Well, not technically to me, to you say, but that's beside the point. Okay, hmm. I will now end my turn. It is your move. If you can win. But I really doubt you even understand what you are doing. Oh. You're trying to win? Oh, oh please. I know that you are weak. Yes, you are very weak. For being unable to stand up to me. I'm not the biggest protagonist, to be honest. I don't usually think of myself as a protagonist. Which is definitely interesting, considering... Considering the fact that, well, I do have a self-insert as a protagonist. But, I mean, I take cr creative liberties. It's not everything about my protagonist is me straight out of the box. That would not be very interesting, I'll just say that. So, obviously, I take fictional liberties. I take creative liberties to make the story actually good. Although, I should actually think about what I'm going to be doing first. I still haven't just- I still have no idea what I'm going to do with my story. I have no idea what will be created in the end. Hopefully something better than whatever Aporia is planning. But let's just be honest. He can't possibly be creating anything good. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, uh... Interesting? Interesting. Okay, uh... I'm going to... I'm going to destroy him. He has no hope left. He has lost. He, he has lost everything now. Although he really should not have given up all hope. Seriously, when you're trying to be edgy, that's just not going to work. <laughs> I know. I know. You want to be edgy. You think you're cool when you're edgy. But you're really not. Okay. You say, I'll take great delight in sending you away. I only have 400 life points left. I better make a move or I'm through. You may be low on LP, but you're still flush with friends. Yeah, Jack's right. We're not just with you in body, we're with you in spirit. You can do it, you say? You say? If my friends believe, then I believe too. Not just in myself, but in my cards as well. Rev it up. It's my turn. Perfect. I activate my trap card. 
I send hardship to the graveyard to destroy my equipped monster. You send hardship to the graveyard to... Wow. Okay. So you're getting rid of hardship to destroy your equipped monster. But that's interesting. That's an interesting card name in this context. And just saying. What? Why would you destroy Shooting Star Dragon? That sounds... What? Because it's not just my monster that goes away. All equipped cards are gone too. So, Red Nova Dragon and Black Winged Dragon that Astro... Whatever absorbed. Go, adios! But you just destroyed the last monster you had. Indeed, I did, Aporia. But I can replace it by summoning Mystic Piper. Then I use Gold Summoner to revive a Synchro Monster and equip it with this card. The monster I choose is Black Winged Dragon. Gold Summoner, Gold Summoner's second effect. Let's me resurrect a synchro monster by di by discarding a card. Interesting. However, I must take damage equal to that synchro monster's attack. Return, Red Nova Dragon. You're through. Red Nova Dragon has more attack than your life points. Are you stupid? That doesn't matter due to Black Winged Dragon's effect. When I take damage from an effect, I can place a counter on my dragon to negate the damage. Way to go, you say. Low life points aren't so bad if you have Black Winged Dragon to take the hit. Then I use Gold Summoner's effect to bring back Shooting Star Dragon from my graveyard. The damage, uh, the damage I'd take for summoning Shooting Star Dragon is absorbed by Black Winged Dragon. All our monsters are here, like it was meant to be. Because they share the same bond we do. He successfully summoned three synchro monsters. Is this the power of the signers? Aporia, you might live in despair, but we thrive in hope. Black winged dragon attack. Shadow squall blast. Arg! Go, Red Nova Dragon! Blazing Soul Strike! Urgh. This cannot be. There is a chance I could lose this. You will lose this, Aporia. Time to end this. Go, Shooting Star Dragon! Stardust! Stardust Mirage. Ah! I failed. The Divine Temple is no more in the city and its people are safe. You say you did it. Not me. All of us. Right, we do this together. We witness what true champions are made of. The winner of this tournament is Team 5Ds. Yeah! Hooray! We did it, we won the whole thing. Nicely done, you say? And now history and the future are safe forever.
All zones completed. Okay, so... Uh... Well, I have to change setting change settings to automatically skip previously read chapters. Yes. I'm going to absolutely enable that. Alright, well, there isn't much more I can gain from continuing to record this event. So, I think this will probably be the last event. I think this will probably be the last video I record of this. Actually, wait a minute. There might be something I haven't recorded in this event. If such a thing happens, I will make sure that I've got my video recording software pulled up and I can record on the spot. But for now, that's going to wrap things up. I will see you guys in my next video.